Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to be very brief. I know you want to hear from Chris, uh, and you should. Um, at first, we teach, we teach life skills and character values through golf. And we say it that way very intentionally. Golf is our delivery method to teach life skills and create opportunities for kids who may not otherwise have them. Um, it's a great program. I'm extremely proud to run it. We could not do it without the support of folks like you. Um, it's what allows us to keep access to the game of golf um, inexpensive. Uh, in fact, at our Boston and Brockton locations, we run it for free. Uh, Chris uh, has been at our Franklin Park location in Boston for now seven years. Uh, and I'm very excited to introduce Chris Taylor to you. Thank you again for all of your support. And I can't wait for you to hear from this uh, young man who I met when he was this tall about five years ago. So, as you can see, he's not that many you. Um, my name is Christopher Taylor again, and um, I wanted to hear, I wanted to share tonight the impact that the Minnick Foundation has had on youth like me uh, as part of the first C, as part of the first C program in Massachusetts. I know that we've had a long-standing relationship. Um, so many of you may already know about our core values: um, honesty, integrity, responsibility, respect. Courtesy, sportsmanship, judgment, perseverance, and confidence. I don't want to give you a cookie cutter speech about the nine core values and some of the talking points that you hear from year to year. Instead, I would like to, I would like to invite you to consider yourself the shape that molds young people like me through another word, opportunity. You see, each time that we have a ch that you have a chance to be that mold. When you invest time and resources to cut into issues like youth development and family mobility, you're talking about people like me who stand here before you. By sharing your love of golf, and specifically your commitment to the youth in golf, you actually create opportunities for us to see a world that we may not have without you. It's not that families like mine aren't goal-oriented or disengaged. My family members are strong supporters of our country as veterans and active military. My mom is civically engaged in our community. I help her quite a bit in things that empower people to move forward. My dad is a sports coach in addition to his professional career, just with a basketball, co with a basketball instead of a set of golf clubs. As a stepping stone scholar myself, and a recent addition to the Newman School family, I stand here as a proud cardinal who has just transferred from one of Boston's exam schools where I earned the honor of being on the AB honor roll list at the first team. Thank you, thank you. However, it takes so much more than just learning about the values that will lead us into that will lead us into good citizenry as young adults. We need every opportunity in and outside of home to put them into action. The first D does just that. With your support, we are able to do amazing once-in-a-lifetime things like be at the U.S. Open. As a standard bearer, I had an opportunity that people would kill for. Many did not get picked for the volunteer pool, but the first team was there to serve and show that we are excited to be the future of the game. Some of us were able to watch others like me. Some of, oh, sorry. Some of us were able to watch, and others like me were able to show leadership and service. You would think that we were just carrying boards with names on them. However, it was so much more than that. We stood right next to some of the golf greats without even knowing whether or not they would win this event because every game is different. Hence, we learned what we do with each opportunity makes a difference. I have a picture at the beginning when I was standing near Will Zalatoris, one of the players on my favorite list from the, from the very first putting practice. While I'm just as happy that Matt Fitzpatrick won, we felt the agony that one stroke had as our first D-class kept the clubhouse open to watch till the very end after our lesson. I took on double shifts in the early days of the Open because I just loved being out there with everyone, making a difference in representing my organization and they needed me most. However, I didn't get to walk in the final rounds because we had older first D players who had earned these spots. There's value in learning when to step up and when to step back. To give space for each other so that we can all win the opportunity of a lifetime where so many people cannot be there at all. 
In fact, I had many experiences after the U afterward at the U.S. Senior Amateur at Katanzit and other local events. It's clear that in each engagement, we get more than skills in the game of golf, but in everyday life as well. Even though it sounds like I'm using the word opportunity a lot, I hope that you hear e that each time I use the word, what you actually hear are the nine core values in action. There's the honesty of expressing the highs and lows of having vision. Expectation and hope balance with disappointments. Sounds like a game of golf, right? <laughs> Um, there's responsibility by showing up when you are called on, and courtesy towards those that are showing up with you. Respect for the people before you, knowing that you're coming behind. There's good sportsmanship in helping my fellow players in places when the cameras are off, like each week when we come together for classes, or this year on our new PGA Junior League team. It's when we can help each other to make good judgments, to find our best performance every week. We can persevere through our good weeks and not so great weeks. We can do our best to help each other and grow as players while connecting as new friends and old friends alike on things like our skill building. Or whether our school lunches will get any better. I don't know if that's happening soon. <laughs> Being on the course each week, season to season, not only gives us confidence as players, but a deeper understanding of our core values through opportunities like lessons, course actions, and service at tournaments. It's those experiences that allow us to develop a strong sense of integrity as we grow in so many ways as maturing teens and future adults. All of you at the Min at the Minute Foundation are a huge part of that, one swing at a time. Thank you all.